Today, we'll be comparing NetMotion Mobility to Cisco's AnyConnect software, and we'll be using GoToMeeting with audio and video as our real-time application. We'll demonstrate how NetMotion's advanced packet loss concealment technology improves the user experience and productivity under typical conditions. On our screen, we have Mobility on the left and AnyConnect on the right. I'm presenting from a laptop running no mobile VPN software, and on our receiving end are two additional laptops, one running NetMotion Mobility and the other Cisco AnyConnect. We're using a network emulator to shape packet loss and identical laptop configurations for the test. So as you can see, with no packet loss present, we experience little, if any, degradation of either side. At 2% packet loss, we begin to see the AnyConnect side degrade just slightly. At 5%, the effect of packet loss becomes even more apparent. And at 10%, we see significant degradation of the AnyConnect side. And if we switch over to the AnyConnect audio, we can hear the effect packet loss has on communication. Now remember, our FCC findings indicated a range of 2 to 30% packet loss was typical for cellular networks. So what we see on the AnyConnect side is typical to what mobile workers would see in the field. At 20% packet loss, the feed on the AnyConnect side is unusable. The meeting is essentially over. But even at 30%, mobility continues the conference. And at 40%, that we begin to see some loss in quality, mobility is still in the game. 